Hi, I'm Chick Devonball, and welcome to Chick's Happy Nostalgia Show, a podcast where me and my friends talk about nostalgic moments and pop culture from our childhoods. We interview people such as actors, producers, composers, puppeteers, and more. We'll be sharing our favorite memories, talk about behind-the-scenes moments, and so much more. I'm your host, Chick Devonball, and welcome to this Chick's Happy Nostalgia Show episode. Greetings and salutations, ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries. Welcome to Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. My name is Marty Monster, along with Annette Pringle. Hi. And our co-hosts, Wyatt McCullough, Chris Bixby, and Jake Diffenball. How you doing? We are great. Hello. Great to be here great. for 40 episodes. Yes. yes. This, this, this week mm-hmm. is right. big. This, mm-hmm. For two <laughs> reasons. For two reasons. One is why I said, this is our 40th episode, folks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Four, One of our oh, biggest guests ever. 40. 40. But the main reason, yeah. the main reason this week is big because of our guest. He is a Sesame Street legend. Oh, you may know him. Hey, hey, <laughs> 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 um, um, among other things as don't, well. Don't be tossing uh, around the L word. Uh. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just stating the truth. You may know him from his variety of works over the years, including Little Shop of Horrors, as yep. well as The Cat in the Hat, and Season 2 of The Webulous for of Dr. Seuss. As well as Riff the Cat, among others, on Allegra's window. However, he's most known for his performance as Mr. Snuffleupagus on Sesame Street, as well as Tally Monster, who's been puppeteering yeah. Get This since 1984. Man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a uh, truly incredible puppeteer and one who may open doors for men at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Martin. Wait, Martin. What? Mar- <laughs> Never mind. Hey. Martin P. Robinson. Hey. There we hey. Go. All right. I'm just getting to know these four jokers here. But, uh, <laughs> go ahead, gentlemen. Do oh, your worst. I dare you. I just want oh. Matt. Matt. I just want Matt. Oh. Up the doors for Martin P. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 he, yeah. He's right. What doors? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, gotta, I don't know what doors. Door I, <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got a door over there. Who knows? I will open that door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. So, so to start off, um, how how did puppeteering start? Right, hold on, Matt, Matt, Matt. What? We know who we are. We know who you are, but for well, people we, who don't we, know, we know who, we know who we are. I mean, come on. We know who you are, but for people who don't know, tell us a little bit about yourself. Even though I just described like two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Marty Monster. He's uh, yes. He's born- <laughs> He's obviously uh, the brains of the outfit, and the, <laughs> yes, and the guy in control here. Yeah, well, uh, we, we really need to uh, pay attention to what he has to say, and even mm-hmm. though his little hands are true, kind of all floppy and soggy, like he. Yeah. Uh, I'm not spoiling yeah. it, but he has another character that looks like one of your characters. We'll talk about that in it later. Which, uh, yeah, which mm-hmm. all right, you'll see, you'll yeah. see later. You you'll guys see. run of the show. I'm just here. To- yeah, you're just here hanging out. Anyway, Matt, back to the yeah. first question. Oh, oh really? This is. Jake show, although it really should be ours. <laughs> yes, <laughs> be ours. yes, yes, yes. It's a Nichols long story. story. It's a long yeah. story. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, so, how did puppeteering begin for you? What started it off for you? Yeah. Uh, what started puppeteering off for me? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, I, when I was a kid, I uh, uh, Halloween was like the one day of the year when I could uh, be something else and do yeah. something else and not be myself. Uh, so uh, it was all about Halloween. And uh, and I at some point I, I had this realization that, you know, this is too much fun to do just just one day out of the year. So uh, so I kind of got into performing and uh, and, you know, did, did start doing plays in school and realized that, you know, that I could, uh, you know, that I had a certain number of characters available to yeah. me uh, uh, with you know doing that and uh, could kind of get out of my out of my shell that way. And uh, so I pursued, uh, I, was, I was thinking about uh, uh, going to a school for art uh, or yeah. for acting. And I chose acting. I came to New York, uh, got a degree in acting, and then kind of realized that, uh, you know, I was being cast as a, you know, six foot two affable white boy from Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, which, <laughs> yeah. which was not really why I got into, uh, into acting. Right. Uh, and I wanted to play yeah. character parts. Like, mm-hmm. I auditioned for a part and uh, and said, "Yeah, you know, you move pretty good for a big guy." I said, "Yeah, I can be small. <laughs> uh, I got a 
I, I auditioned for a puppet company, uh, Niccolo Marionettes, which is now called oh. New York Puppet Works. Oh, wow. Um, I was, uh, it was a touring company and I was qualified because I had a driver's license. Yeah. And, uh, poof. I'm a puppeteer. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. mm -hmm. so I, uh, I, I learned marionettes first. It was a marionette show. Yeah. I uh, went out on a 23 week tour of Jack and the Beanstalk and, uh, uh learned how to work a puppet and uh, kind of added that to my list of things that I enjoyed doing. It wasn't until a couple of years later when I uh, worked for Bill Baird. Uh, who yeah. is, if you're puppet geeks, you know Bill Baird. Uh, those of you who aren't, uh, uh, The Sound of Music. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the, the yes. Lone Goat Herd number from Sound of Music. That's classic Baird. Uh, I worked for him, and that's when I really discovered that, you know, the, the combination between uh, design and art and, and uh, building and, uh, and designing a character and then playing a character, uh, his, his, his puppets were, you know, were you know, embodied, uh, were physical embodiments of, of the character that they were built to portray. Yeah. That was, that was just, uh, <laughs> at that point I realized I could play, you know, animals, vegetables, minerals, yeah. tiny things, huge things. Uh, there was sky was the limit. And that's when I decided to become a puppeteer. Wow, and nice! I, that's awesome. For, for a lot of different companies at that point, uh, from then on. Oh, wow, that is. That's so, amazing. so who who are some of your uh, inspirations? Uh, uh, puppetry inspiration? Yeah, yeah, yeah puppetry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I uh, I had I had I had seen uh, you know puppet puppeteering when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, the Captain Kangaroo show. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was. I mean. Uh, uh, I had uh, I had seen some early early Baird stuff when I was a when I was a kid. He uh, his company made a lot of uh, uh, films for that were that were seen in school. Yeah. Uh, so I knew of them, and so when I started, you know, working for them, I you know I, I had a backlog. Uh, uh, you know, I, I I didn't aspire to be a puppeteer. I mean, I had seen. Uh, you know the uh, the Disney. Uh, not uh, I seen uh, the Muppets. Um, yeah, right. Yes. Muppets. You've heard, oh, you've heard of them. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh, of course, <laughs> well, of course, course. <laughs> cool. uh, of course. Yeah. Who that's hasn't? Gonna, that's going to simplify this conversation so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, the first Muppets I ever saw was probably on the Ed Sullivan show. I mean, you. Yeah. Made, oh, right. oh yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> you've seen the reruns. Well, I used to watch it. You know, when it was first on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when it was uh, live-ish. Anyway, mm -hmm. I, these I saw these crazy reindeers on the Ed Sullivan show doing things I'd never seen anything do before, and it was just blew my mind. Yeah. So you know, so those were early influences. Uh, when I decided to become a puppeteer, yeah, I, uh, I worked for uh, a wonderful puppeteer named. Uh, team called uh, Bob and Judy Brown. I worked for a guy named David Sorodiak. I worked for a guy named Addis Williams, uh, all of whom are still around. Um, that was kind of my apprentice or journeyman yeah. years. Uh, by the time I auditioned for the Muppets in 81, yeah. I had like, just enough skills to kind of get in the door Yeah, uh, and not, you know, not be too terrible. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I, uh, there was a big mass audition uh, in New York uh, where they were just calling everybody in. And yeah. uh, there were uh, several hundreds of people and uh, it turned out that they were casting uh, the Snuffleupagus part. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, they were uh, out of, yeah, so out of all that audition, they were casting one part. And I was the last man standing. Wow. wow. Awesome. Still oh, standing, wow. and still hoisting yes. that, that big boy up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll bring him up a little with uh, with with Brian Young, who, for those who don't know, does the back half of Snuffy. Yeah. Bryant Young, uh, yeah. Bryant, uh, and Bryant, he's, Bryant, he's Bryant. actually been doing the back end longer than I've been doing the front end. Oh wow! Uh, oh wow! He is the <laughs> wow. He is the uns it, it really is uh, yeah. a team in that you know uh, you just have to kind of ha share part of the same brain. To make mm -hmm. that thing work and to not fall over and to run into things and yeah, yeah. I could I could definitely see like in the Big Bird Lost video he's on roller skates how'd that work? 
with Snuffy think, on roller skates. Uh, when we did the roller skating show, yeah, because it was a, yeah. it was the Big Bird gets lost where Big Bird goes and gets lost in ABC D Mart. Okay, the store. Okay, I don't remember that part of it, but I do remember roller skating. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I understand, gentlemen. I've done yeah. Uh, hundreds i would probably thousands of shows at yeah. this point so if you bring up and some episode that i was in i'll, I'll take it on faith but i won't yeah. remember it <laughs> right. that's fine that's fine that's fine yeah. uh yes i i i uh i roller skated in snuffy we both did yeah uh they strapped uh skateboards oh uh, wow converted oh. to our feet so we yeah. were we were uh, roller skating with skateboards, and uh, we did not die that day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good day that we didn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. I know there was another question about that video, Chris. You want to ask that one about the uh, telly in that video? Oh, I don't even know if I remember the so, question. It was at the end when you were doing Snuffy. Who was Telly at the end of that video? I have no idea. See, okay, there, you there you go. go. There we go. We know the answer. Uh, if, That's if, okay. uh, I was doing, I was doing telly by that point. Yeah. If uh, yeah. if telly was yeah. in, in a shot by himself. Yeah. And then I was out of snuffy and doing telly. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Like, how shot, telly? Could, yeah. How telly come about with, for you? With snuffy, I mean, you know, yeah. yeah. What we, right. I, I would yeah. never put anyone in snuffy. Yeah. Really, for any reason whatsoever. Uh, so mm. I would I would have pre-recorded a uh, telly or or post dubbed it. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Probably, you know Tyler mm. Bunch, somebody yeah. wonderful like that. Yeah. How Tyler? Ty- how Telly come about? Uh, I took over Telly. Yeah. Uh, and in the Follow That Bird movie. Yes. yes. Right. So, yes. So, that movie. so nostalgic to me. That I was love the first that time I did him. Uh, I had done his wow. right hand for Brian yeah. Neal for about. Oh. three or four years before that yeah and he was the one who originated the character for yeah. those who don't know uh actually he was the second puppeteer in it that it was originated oh, wow. by a puppeteer named bobby Payne. yeah oh yeah yeah you yeah. know that how do you that, that that is that is deep in the muppet archives that one <laughs> yeah, it was it was like in the muppets during the early days i know that yeah uh telly uh i mean uh, one of the original concepts of the monsters was, was that they were uh, obsessed with one thing and his obsession was television and yeah. the original mm-hmm. telly had actually little motors in his head. oh yeah uh, yeah go around and he had a little yeah. uh, little like a uh, uh, bunny ear i mean you know uh, antennas uh, antennas yeah 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 uh and that was that was funny for about a you know minute and a half and then they decided to yeah uh, then Brian turned him into what he turned him into, which was kind of this depressive, obsessive, uh, self-facing yes. character. And when I, t- mm. well, Brian Meal actually actually quit in '84, yeah, uh, just before Follow That Bird. It took five puppeteers to cover to cover his parts. He was he's such a an amazing performer. Wow, uh. breadth, the breadth of characters. I mean, he did. Uh, Barkley, he did. Yeah, Elma. Right. He did Clementine. He did uh, um, uh, Buster the Horse. He did Slimy the Worm. He did. Yeah. He did everything. Yeah, half a dozen other characters. Yeah. Not Tons. everything. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. Everything. There's so many yeah. other characters. But, took, but no, he did a lot. It took five puppeteers to yeah. cover cover his parts, and 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 I, as, as his right hand, was was part of my training process, my apprenticeship. Right. Uh, I, was, mm-hmm. I, I had the good fortune, not good fortune, however you look at it, to when I was hired, I was put into a major part day one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't mm-hmm. do it that way anymore. Uh, we, we, we have a whole training process, a whole uh, uh, mentorship process uh, that, that takes years. Uh, and you start out doing right hands, background characters, and then and doubling. Yeah. A doubling when mm, doubling. new characters come along that you might be right for, then we work you into those characters. Yeah, that's what's happening now. But back in those days, it was you know throw the new puppeteer into the deep water and see if he swims. <laughs> right. Uh, no, uh, no training process. No lessons. No, this is how you do lip sync. No, this is. It was just all on the job training. Yeah. Um, but- so my first day was uh was very exciting yeah uh, that's awesome but but with telly i had years to kind of work up to the character and then when i 
took him over for follow that bird it uh it, it worked out and i and i basically kind of evolved that character forward from there yeah, yeah. follow mm-hmm. that bird is so so nostalgic to me i, I need to see that yeah. again uh, i've only seen it you know, maybe a couple of times uh, same i have it on dvd i, I have on vhs it and dvd i haven't seen it in a while need to someplace yeah. jake how about you ask a question you haven't asked one yet <laughs> yeah um yeah so what was the experience of working with Sesame Street for the first time? Yeah. Did, that, didn't uh, he want to say the first day or, or those first years? Or, or well, what? Like, I, think, I think he's asking, uh, what, what, what was your experience like working for Sesame for that first time? Uh, the, the first time, the first day. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, it was it was harrowing because uh, I, I was in Snuffy for the first time. I mean, I knew how to use, you know, how, how the, the, the camera system worked and I, I could yeah. work a monitor mm. fairly well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you're inside this heavy thing and it's dark and there's a you know, TV monitor there. And I was used to puppeteering, you know, with a monitor here and you look at the monitor. Yeah. Yes. This monitor was, you know, was, was mobile. It was moving with me, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, which is a whole nother way of thinking of the world. Uh, and I didn't have any reference. Uh, you know, you have to mm-hmm. get all your information from this little monitor. Mm-hmm. Back then, right. it was probably a little monitor like this, not the nice yeah. ones we have these days. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I had right. choreography. I had to sing a song that I had recorded beforehand. I had the entire, you know, all the producers and director and, yeah. <clears throat> and art directors breathing down my neck, telling me how snuffy should be done. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, and through the whole day, what I most remember is is Carol Spinney. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Carol, Carol you know, Spinney. With yes. Rest in bird, peace. bird and snuff. And, you know, and he was, you know, he didn't have any reason except his intense gentlemanlyship, gentlemanship and, uh, and kindness, yeah. you know, for, to, to, uh, to be putting up with this new guy who didn't know you know, uh, <laughs> didn't yeah. know production that well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but he was there, he was kind, he was helpful. Uh, I That's just, awesome. my, what I remember of that day is me and Carol kind of side by side, getting this stuff done so that, uh, you know, so that we could, so we could make the day and I would uh, survive that first day. Wow. Um, awesome. Wow. Wow. Worked out uh, well enough that yeah. you know we were able to continue for. Yeah. yeah. So I know Matt brought up this up earlier. You worked on Little Shop of Horrors. How was Audrey Two controlled in that? How was Audrey Two controlled yeah. in Little Shop of Horrors? Yeah. How was it controlled? Uh, now, are you talking about the original Off Off Broadway production, or I the think I don't know. probably both. Either. Probably Either. both. Well, then it's even a more complicated question. We got time. <laughs> uh, you got until. 4 15 and then i gotta go pick up my daughter <laughs> all right everyone <I'm> <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> right. um the original uh a little shop of horrors was yeah. very simple yeah. it was you know it was you know how do you how do you put it do a nice hand yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh my <laughs> gosh wow wow, wow. what the that? original plan from the original production, okay. Wow. Oh, Audrey, wow. Numero uno. Uh, but so the so the question became, how do you make you know a uh, you know a little little puppet like this, a little, yeah. a little hand puppet mm-hmm. pop? How do you make four versions that that grow yeah. and mm-hmm. and do what Howard Ashman yeah. wrote in his uh, in his beautiful play, which is, you know, it grows, uh, takes over the flower shop, eats the entire cast. Yeah. And, and takes over the world. Yeah, uh, it, right. that was that was what it had to do, you know. And while it's uh, acting, you know, talking, uh, singing, jive, and uh, and you know, and and being uh, a, a real uh, full fledged member of the cast. Oh, yeah. So so basically, the the pod just got bigger and bigger, and yeah. me inside became uh, you know, more and more involved with with yeah. the lip sync. Uh, mm-hmm. So. You know, so I traded this for you know this. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. That type of That's thing, awesome. <laughs> and then made it so that you know that the balance was just workable enough. So 
it was more of a balance thing as opposed to a heavy lifting thing. Yeah. Uh, and you know, worked, it was, so, so the first one was, was very simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there know, you not, go. A lot, not a lot could, could go wrong with it. The one that we, uh, ultimately made for the Broadway production in 2003 was yeah. uh, a lot more complex. I bet. Um, I had a, I had a lot more budget to work with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, that's awesome. Uh, the first, the first, but the budget on the first one was about $2,000. Wow. Shows. Oh, wow. Uh, and the budget for oh. the Broadway version was about 850,000. Wow. Wow. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. There's a fan, there's a fan that's, that's going to be loving that is. Yeah. I was able to get a lot more fun on stage. I bet that's I mean, awesome. I mean, if, I this, like it. mm -hmm. if this is if this is the uh, the uh, yeah. imagine that my screen here is the it was known as the Virginia Theater then. Yeah, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Audrey in in the shop would have been about this big in relation to the theater. Yeah, so mm -hmm. wow. roughly the scale here. Yeah, so, so she yeah. so so the big pod is here. And it's talking to Audrey, and it's talking to Seymour, and it's you know eating people. And then when it when it finally uh, uh, grows to its full full size, we yeah. had, we had a lift, which was basically oh, wow. a counterbalance lift that would that that was so it was perfectly balanced, even though it, though it weighed about a ton and a quarter. The whole the whole oh, wow. uh, it was it was perfectly balanced, and so it could go from this position up to the top of the stage, all the way to this side and all the way to this side of the stage. And then the whole rig uh, from the balance point could drive forward. So then it would drive uh, forward yeah. over, yeah. over the fifth row of the audience and, uh, and, you know, and finish up, finish up taking over the world there. Wow. Um, oh, um, so yeah. we had a very I've... complex lifting rig. Mm -hmm. There was still a puppeteer yeah and if this is scale you know the puppeteer would have yeah. been about yay big inside this pod wow. yeah working the pod with by muscle I uh, bet. muscle action yeah awesome so but, oh go ahead man i think there was another show besides sesame street he worked on uh, a certain window show you want to talk uh, about uh, yeah uh, yes, yes. There's a show uh, yes. Called, uh, i grew up with that allegra's window allegra's yeah. window yes yes, cool. yes 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 i love that show I yes, I just, I just got in. I just got into that. Yeah, I just okay. got into that recently because, as my dad best puts it, it was BC before children, right? Yeah, BC before children. Before children, I mean, you can get the, it, the entire series of uh, Allegra Zundo on. I think it's on Paramount Plus. Oh, yeah, wow. yep. that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes. That's right. That's right. Uh, skip the first season. Um, <laughs> start with the second season. Uh, I, I, I actually just recently watched the first episode of the second season and I thought I was getting ready to cringe thinking, okay, that was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. lovely. There is some, there are some yeah. fun, you, fun puppet tricks in that, that, uh, that, you know, we, we pulled out a lot of stoppers with that. Yeah. And had, I haven't yeah. seen it in forever. We probably, I think when I was little, I probably had like a videotape I had it somewhere, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Pull, pull up some of the second season on Paramount Plus. Yeah, and, yeah you know, of course. We had, I, I, I got uh, Kathy Mullen. Uh, had, yeah. Yes. Ah, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. She hadn't worked a puppet in like seven years. Uh, the producers asked me a, a really a telling question when we were, we'd done the pilot and we were getting ready to do the show. And, Producer asked, you know, is is the is the lady that we have for uh, for Allegra uh, tapped for Allegra? Is she the best puppeteer that, that can do that? And I said, she's really good, and, and I believe in her. Uh, and then they said, is she the best? I said, well, the best is Kathy Mullen. You know, but you're not mm -hmm. going to get her. You're not going to get Kath Catherine Mullen. She's, you know, and and right. the producer said, why don't you ask her? And so I did, and Kathy said yes. Wow! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that's so, awesome. So we had Kathy Mullen. We had Aunt, the legend. Talk about legendary uh, Anthony Asbury. Yeah. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Pam yeah. Arciero was in it. Me and yeah. uh, Tim Legas is one of his first jobs that he did out of uh, yes. college. Oh wow! So it was a dream team. Uh, Heather Ash worked on it. Uh, yeah. As well. uh, it was. It was. I, I had more input on that show than any other show I've ever worked on. Oh wow! Oh wow! As far as scripts and meetings and yeah, uh, 
and props and uh, coordinating. And my company uh, built puppets. And yeah, uh, and I was mm-hmm. instrumental in casting wow. the whole thing. So yeah, yeah, if I love that show. Uh, but those those guys are awesome. I grew up watching uh, Anthony, uh, Catherine, and Heather. Heather's work on uh, Between the Lines. Yes, yes. Uh, that was a fantastic show. show. Yeah, great show. Great show. Great show. Great show. Yeah, great. Great so, show. I know fans are probably wondering if Liger's window. I think Jake was going to ask this. Jake, you want to ask it? Yeah. So, can, can uh. you, so can you still do the voice of Clef and Whiff? Uh, sure. I, I can. I, I can do any voice. I mean, they're they're <laughs> they're they're out of context. I mean, yeah, I can, it's fine. I, mean, I, I can do Snuffy's voice, <laughs> Kelly's voice. I mean, it's they're, they're all they all live there. Yeah. Uh, oh wow. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, I mean, it's 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 not. You know, uh, you know, I, Clef. I would have to think about. Um, you know, Riff. Yeah, Riff is still there. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I, I still have. I still have the, all the puppets uh, are stored there. They, oh wow! Oh wow! That is awesome. What? Still in decent shape, some of them. Yeah, even wow. though the, even though the wow. film uh, the film you know deteriorates after a while. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. I remember. I remember Stephanie telling us about that when we yeah. interviewed her. Yeah. Certain mm-hmm. films last uh, longer than others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. So. Uh, yep. so so, so this, this, is, this is probably a big question for you, but do you have a favorite uh, Sesame Street project that you've worked on, like a specific favorite? A Ses- uh, Sesame project or, yeah. or, or project across the board? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess just project in general. Do you have like a favorite yeah. project in general that you've done? Uh, I, well, I, I love Sesame. I mean, Sesame's you know, been doing it for 40 Over four years. Yeah. Years. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of like home. And and I love the work, and I love the crew and cast and everything about it. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, I mean, Allegra's window. I was was a little bit more dynamically involved. Uh-huh. In that. I mm-hmm. love the project. Yeah. Um, you know, there's uh, uh, in in uh, Doctor Seuss, the Webulous World. It was yes. It was nice playing, you know, the lead in that and doing every scene. It was it was exhausting, uh, but it was a it was a, it was a fun show. Ubi was was a yes. uh, show. Oh, wow. one of my favorite shows ever is one we're working on now, which is called Helpsters. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. that's what you right. talked with Stephanie about as well. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, we brought that up with Stephanie. Stephanie is brilliant. Uh, yes, she is. She's, she's the glue that holds that whole show together and allows yep. for the rest of us to be you know, crazy nutty characters kind of orbiting her, her uh, island of sanity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. the character I play, the uh, Mr. Prim, is, yes. uh, is yeah. so much fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, awesome. yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't do telly too much anymore, uh, but, and Mr. Prim is almost, almost as crazy as telly in his own very proper way. Uh, wow. So I get him big kick out of that show we did we mm-hmm. did this season that we shot from august to december uh, of last year that's uh that's getting ready to be released uh and you know and as, as far as you know and, you know little shop of horrors of course is i mean it's not a you know it's it's a it's a stage stage show yeah right? but mm-hmm. uh you know that's i will always be very very dear to my heart uh yeah. having you know having started from you know just a small little off off broadway showcase production to you know to kind of uh taking over the world the way it did uh yeah it was fun you know back when i was i was like 20 28 29 when i when i did that yeah uh, i did that show and mm-hmm. i was kind of like oh you know this yeah I, you, you do yeah. a broadway show and it uh and it runs for five and a half years and then mm-hmm. uh you know and is is the biggest stock and amateur uh um uh a thing out there in, 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 in theater and then goes to Broadway. Yeah, that happens all the time. No, oh, wow. yeah. doesn't happen all the time. Oh. <laughs> it happens. Now, there's no. Yeah. And I'm, you know, and, I, and, I, and, you know, from my perspective now, I look at that and say, okay, you know, yes, I got struck by lightning uh, and I am so grateful uh, to have, uh, to have done that project and, uh, you know, have that one. Uh, under yeah. My belt. Uh, because I do not expect the you know the likes of that to happen too often. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and as, and as for Sesame, do you have a favorite uh, project that you did for Sesame? 
Yeah. Your favorite uh, specific project? Uh, or like, video. Uh, like a video, a video or like, a, you know. Oh, you know, they all kind of wash together after a while. Um, uh, favorite specific thing. Um, you know, I love doing the movies. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The process of film. Um, there's there were some scenes we did in uh, Elmo and Grouchland. That was yes, yes. yes. Which actually have VHS of it. Or Telly is out of control roller skating. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Yes, <laughs> yes, was a blast to shoot and and really kind of hairy edge dangerous. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I imagine. Yeah. Uh, uh, so. Uh, uh, so I uh, and uh, there were there were some there were some really nice nice times on um, you know follow that bird yes that a long time ago that was eighty five I think yeah eighty five mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I mean that was before Snuffy was even you know mainstream seen by the, by the cast he was that's still, right that's yeah. right yes still a secret uh, yeah that's right there's 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 a lot of shows I mean uh, there's a lot of my I, I love doing uh, Snuffy, but my favorite was Telly. Yes. Yes. I, yes. I, just, I always said that if, 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 as long as I had Telly, I would never need a deep, uh, deep psychoanalysis because he was a real uh, safety valve for all my craziness. Uh, and, uh, you know, and then he's not, not, not really part of the cast anymore. But now I have Mr. Prim oh. to take care of my craziness. Yes. So, <laughs> so I'm still good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess. Speaking of projects, Jakey, you have something that he actually worked on with you. Yes. And um, the reason I say he worked on it is it actually credits you on the wiki. There it is. Remember this? We yeah. are family. Nice, nice shine. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's we are family. A uh, music video for all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked yeah. on that. Yep. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. I had like all the different characters together. I had like Sesame Street and Between the Lions and yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that, now I remember. Yeah, that that was what was really really unusual about that project is all those different projects uh, contracts came together. Uh, yeah, especially where Bear and yeah. Barney like Bear oh, Barney Between yeah. Lions. Yeah, crazy. Really unprecedented. Yeah, Very. Maybe there's more of in the future. You know. Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on. We we need that. You got to yeah, but you really got to get a project that everyone can get on board with and yeah, and exactly you know, and solve all the kind of contractual issues. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's uh, a lot of hard work. When we had for the fiftieth Sesame Show, yeah, ah uh, yes, we had yes. a Kermit the Frog on. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yes, I yes. love that singing with uh, Elvis Costello. Do you see that? I yes. did, yes. I yeah. saw the special yeah. when it premiered. Wonderful. Yep. Mm -hmm. And but of course, uh, Sesame doesn't uh, doesn't own any rights to Kermit the Frog. Right, right. right. Dis that's oh, Disney's. That's, that's Disney. Disney. So Disney had to okay, you know, really sign off on that and okay that whole thing in the script. Yeah. You know, make sure that that was something that they could get behind. But but it worked worked out. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, like Tyler Bunch, you mentioned before, he was our third guest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ricky Boy was, was also here. on here. Tyler's one of, the, one of the most talented people I know. He's, he, can, he can just do it, do everything. Exactly. And yeah. Mm -hmm. From, you know, Louie to, you know, Tree oh, yeah. and all those wonderful characters. But he also he does, does, he does really? light opera and, you know, does a lot of uh, acting roles. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Singer, mm -hmm. Um, He's, uh, yeah, he's, he, he he's can, a lot. He's, uh, yeah, so, many wonderful so much. Things. So much. He's yeah. coming back in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway, so uh, do you have like any specific uh, fun stories or memories from working on Sesame Street over the years? No. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <Best> answer. <laughs> I mean, yes, uh, but you want me to go fishing in. 41 years worth of memories on Sesame Street. We'll be nice. We'll be nice. We'll be nice. No, you don't have to. No, you got to yeah. be more specific. Uh, something that will jog something. Uh, uh, something specific. Yeah. 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 A specific <laughs> question will get a specific answer. If you ask me something like that. Well, there was, there was one. That, to ramble. There's, there is one special. I was uh, 
because we, we've talked to a, a couple of the other people about this as well. Um, Elmo Palooza, what, what was it like getting to work with all those? Uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago. Next question. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's going to be my answer to a lot of these questions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Palooza, yeah. I uh, there were there was there was I could, I could only be there for a few days of that. Yeah. Because I had I was on some other project and I don't yeah. remember what, what what year was that? Do you know? I don't know. It might have been, been around like 97, 98. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 97, 98. I don't know was. what was going on, but I was uh the 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 exterior snuffy shots was snuffy uh, out on the street. I didn't do those. Oh, wow. uh, I post dubbed oh, wow. those. I did some telly. I worked with John Stewart. I remember that. Yep. I remember Barry Manilow. Yeah. That's it. That's all yeah. I remember about that shoot. Mm. All right. What do you remember about the 25th anniversary special, which you played Martian also? Besides, are oh, you going back even further now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is great. This yeah. Is great. Uh, the 25th anniversary is that the one that, that Bill Cosby was the host of? No. no it was, was, it was, it was That was the 20th. Yeah. There. It was called Jam, but we Best got a 25th one in four years. 25 one in three years. Uh huh. Yeah. It was the uh, one with uh, the everybody sing, coming together to sing the song "Sing" at the end. We always uh, do with uh, Leia with uh, we, yeah, yeah. They <laughs> always do that. That's the way every project ends. That's okay. like every project. That's like every project. I think it was with um. Oh, yeah, what, we had, we had the, the uh, uh, who who was it? La- yeah. Lady Lady Smith Black Mimbaza. That's the yeah. That's group who, that, who that's did it at the end. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's who it was. Yeah, dang, you're right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. All right, anyway. <laughs> Next question. That's that's it. That was so. Um. What What was it like? Uh. Since we're since we're talking about people you've worked with over the years. Uh. What was it like working with Jim Henson? Oh, yeah, I was going. To oh yeah. It's it's kind of strange. I was riding in a car yesterday. Uh, yesterday was uh, the memorial service for Emilio Delgado, uh, which, oh, uh, yes. yeah. which ended with all of us singing "Sing." Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. it was wonderful and glorious and sad. Uh, but uh, uh, Carmen and Pam and I may be the last three that actually worked with Jim, yeah, uh, wow. on the sh- that are still on the show. Uh, so it's it's kind of strange, you know, that I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the bulk the bulk of the people working there now n- never worked with them, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weird, yeah. You know? Uh, it was, it was, it was delightful. I mean, you, you knew where you were, you knew where you stood. Um, you know, he kind of ruled with a, with a whim, you know, he, he had, he had earned the right to, uh, yeah. to, uh, you know, ask for anything he wanted. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, he would ask kind of like this, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah. if you, if you did, did that, I mean, you probably should do it again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and if you said, "Hmm, lovely," then you didn't do it again. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it was so nice. I mean, no matter what projects he had, no matter what uh, uh, films or big deals or 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 series, that right. he, had, he yeah. always came back to Sesame Street. That's uh, awesome. You know, mm-hmm. to, to you know to be with uh, you know his 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 old time crew: Jerry Nelson, Richard Hunt. Uh, um, uh, Kathy Mullen, uh, uh, Louise Gold when she was there, yeah. uh, those yeah. wonderful people, and Carol Carol Finney, of course. You know, and all yeah. the yeah. folks that, the, that he had been in the trenches with. You know, and then us us new guys that uh, that were you know coming along, yeah, uh, in one way or another. And uh, yeah, so he he always came back, and you know, was just laughing, forgetting his lines, sweating, yeah. Doing you know a puppeteer in the trenches, uh, uh, like 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 the old times. It was mm-hmm. kind of nice to see him put off you know all the all the, what I imagined were the you know the, the cares of being the the man mm-hmm. in charge and yeah. just the man in charge of yeah. that puppet in that bit. Yeah, that, that was. If, before we do get to the next question, it's kind of awesome that you play Snuffy, Matt. You know what I'm leading to. We yeah, actually, uh, I do. Actually, I do. We actually, Matt actually has another friend that gets called Snuffy quite uh, a bit. Uh, oh, it's my turn, on, huh? Bingo yeah. on his stream, bingo on. Oh, my gosh. On. Here we go. Uh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, it's Julius. 
Hello. Hello. God, God, I hate that. You got to hate that shine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. He gets, Hello he, he gets called quite stuffy quite a bit. I do. I do. It's it's a nose. Yep. Yeah. It's it's a nose. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a nose. I get yep. called snuffy. I get called snuffy a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello. He's, he's got the. Yep. He's got, yeah, he's got this. He's got the the big eyes and the, yeah. the fur is uh, about the right color. The green hair is. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. It's a it's a it's a dark purple. My yeah. Color if, is. if you took off the green hair, it would be uh, it'd be a little snuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it yeah. Kind of. I. I it. I do kind of need to trim a little bit though. Yeah. yeah he does. I don't. I don't. He's not it. Oh dear, practice. Oh, oh, dear. Yeah. oh my gosh. What are um, we gonna do now, Bird? Yeah. Oh, what my are gosh. we gonna do now? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Now, hey, hey Julia, sit you here. Why make you make more question? of a meal out of the O. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, oh oh uh, dear. I know. Uh, I'm, I'm, you can I, make I, more of a meal out of that. Julia, yeah, yeah. tell me you ask the next question since you're here. Uh, oh, me, huh? Well, you, you had you had brought up uh, Emilio Delgado earlier. What was it like to work with him? Oh, Emilio was just a you know a ray of sunshine every time. You, you like there were times when when I would wonder you know how can this guy be so happy and positive all the time? You know is yeah. is, that, is that for real? Yeah. You know what? It was totally for real. He was you know and not that you know not that. You know, you didn't have, you know, uh, you know, trouble or two and things would happen. But he just, boom, he was always the coolest guy in the room and kind and sweet and fun to work with. Um, there, it's, it was just a, he was just an astounding, astounding man. Uh, we always had fun. Uh, yeah. I bet. Yes. Yeah, it's Sesame Street. Lost a lot of, uh, you know, good Mr. people. Cooper. Like, you know, of course, Jim. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Willie and Jerry. Yeah. And, of course, yeah. recently. And the original yeah. um, Gordon, too. Uh, the original yeah. Gordon, yeah. Matt, uh, Matt, uh, Matt Robinson. Yeah. Matt Robinson. Yeah. I, was, yeah. uh, I, was, I was pleased. I got, I got to work with Will Lee for one season, my first season. Yeah. Um, I, he, uh, he passed away at the beginning of my second season. Wow. Yeah. Was, was, mm-hmm. and I, but I was there for the, uh, uh, you know, the the Mr. Hooper's death show, which was oh uh, yes, uh, uh, yes. scenario for its time. I mean, you've, you've, yeah, you've, you've big bird. Seen. He was that really uh, was. It was. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was there in the room when that scene happened, and it was there was not a dry eye in that studio. That bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And well, it's been been really great that way. You know, not not afraid to really tackle tackle the issues that uh, that yeah uh, that kids deal with and uh, it kind of hit him head on didn't really dance around the subject um uh and when then they're still doing that i mean to this day they've uh, they they still meet uh, you know, the issues of, of these days head on yeah yeah sure. mm-hmm. Yeah, like there was yeah, another um, one about death about almost Uncle Jack, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, um, the, so, you know, incarceration and... Oh, yeah. yeah. Incarceration. And yeah. Sesame Street's also done a number of uh, specials about like the military and stuff like that, too. And yeah. that's, that's a good thing about Sesame. Not a lot, not a lot of other kids' shows really did that. Yeah. No, Sesame did. Sesame yeah. did, and I yeah. think you guys yeah, definitely did a really good job with that. Yeah, the whole thing with yeah. uh, with uh, deployment, and uh, and and actually Rosita's father, uh, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, is is uh, is a is a an, uh, an injured veteran, oh, right? Wow. Yes, he's, he's in a wheelchair <laughs> now because of injuries sustained in the military. Uh, yeah. you know, we don't always spell it out exactly. Right. Um, but but that's the but that's the the gist of, of you know and and we we've, we've shot some 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 uh, videos some not for Sesame Street we we Sesame Street these days isn't just the show we also do yeah. all kinds of outreach yeah. uh, projects things right. that are for the website things that are for the, our YouTube channel things that are for mm-hmm. uh, yeah. uh, skewed for an older audience and there's uh, there's a really uh, heartrending one of of Rosita trying to 
come to grip, <clears throat> come to grips with her father's uh, disability and oh, he wow. yeah. to come to grips with it and the things that he wants to do with his daughter and the things that he can't do and some of the uh, I remember that, yeah. and emotional problems that he has connected with those. It's a, uh, it's tough stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and when with Sesame, you got to be able to explain that stuff in a way that kids will understand too. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. It doesn't make them uh, frightened. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because it can be yeah. a very, very scary thing to talk about. So the oh, yeah. department is, uh, is, you know, really does their homework with regards to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's on that screen that hasn't been, uh, you know, researched and vetted and tested and, uh, you know, in, with with regards to, is this going to do uh, uh, more good than harm? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, since we already talked about, you know, about your your favorite project of Sesame and Muppet that you've done, what? So, um, do you have a favorite project that you ever done um, in general for Allegra's window? Uh, in in general for Allegra's window? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know the the whole. The whole project. I mean, I mean, dealing. Yeah. With, I mean, that yeah. that was. Uh, I was working with a, a, a group called uh, Jumbo Pictures. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, oh yes. 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 Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, Jim Jenkins. Uh, was his company. Oh, who might yeah. be a future? Who might have same, coming up on the show in the future? Same, yes. Same guy behind Doug. Yeah. Hey, Doug, TV, and Jay Otter are lots of shows. You guys are, are, are going to get Jim Jenkins on this show. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, in the future, yeah. I'm living in, in, uh, in Jim Jenkins' former house. I bought uh, bought my house from Jim. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Crazy. wow. And, uh, That's he, awesome. and, my, he and my wife uh, work together on projects uh, to this day. So he's, he's, a, mm. he's a dear wow. friend. So, yes. so, yeah. So Jumbo Pictures, that was, they had the deal with Nickelodeon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it was going through all kinds of, which it was really called Beatnik. It was kind of, but it was always kind of going to be kind of a musical show. And, and, and there were all these uh, versions of it. Uh, I think mm-hmm. I was put onto them by uh, by my agency. Uh, yeah, and we got on well, and so I was able to be in on 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 the development of of the project uh, as as it, as it evolved into Allegra's window. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it was delightful, you know, being associated with with that group and uh, and. And that's what, right around when we, f- we formed uh, Harry Edge Productions. Uh, uh, that that may have been Harry Edge Productions might have been after that, but uh, but it was but working uh, you know w- working you know with the original designs from cartoons and and you know being yeah. involved with the you know the whole process uh, as, mm-hmm. it, uh, as it evolved. Uh, I love that. Mm-hmm. So I bet we, we did a Christmas special or yeah. towards the end. That was, I recall was really nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I've seen that in years. I need to see these things again. Yes. Wasn't Chris, correct me or wrong. Cause I know you had it. Wasn't there also an album? I don't yeah. Know. I think I have it somewhere. The Allegra's window. Remember, album. Yeah. Like- album. yeah uh, there was a, a musician named Don Sebesky. Yeah, mm. our uh, musical um, director for the oh, I don't know for the first couple of seasons. We did like three seasons, uh, and he was he was he was legendary in the music and jazz business. Uh, he was a legendary, I think, uh, composer arranger, and we were lucky enough to have this incredible musician uh, in charge of the music on our show. So the music on that show, some of it was just gorgeous uh yeah great mm-hmm. fun, great fun to to sing totally and, is and, yes yes yeah, mm-hmm. so, so so since since we're getting kind of close to wrapping up here do you have um do you have uh, any advice that you'd like to give to anyone who wants to get into puppetry matt don't worry matt, uh, what, what, what are you looking at me like that for uh, yeah, just... i'm okay for another 20 minutes or so so you don't have to you don't have to be in the end game right away uh advice for uh for new puppeteers yeah uh mm-hmm. yeah um get a well-rounded education uh there's a lot of 
puppeteer enthusiasts out there that are just that just love the you know the Muppet style. Yeah. Uh, I won't do any more quotes. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you know, it's all about the Muppet style, and that's all they want to do, and that's all they're interested in, and it's all they. Yeah. Can see. And mm-hmm. it's and it's very very myopic as mm-hmm. far as as far as the 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 breadth of of puppetry. Yeah. Uh, and you know, and I and I'll and I'll see uh, young puppeteers sometimes who are really enthusiastic yeah. uh, and you know and you know and they've got the, the lip sync down and yeah you know, matt definitely has are, but yeah. they don't have any uh, physical training they don't have any musical training they can't play an instrument they can't yeah. sing uh they don't uh know how to read music um they don't you know don't have uh physical chops to to last uh uh and you know and you need a certain amount of social skills to work with a group um uh, you know, puppetry is 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 kind of a, a broad range. Yeah, and mm-hmm. my uh, recommendation is is get a real well rounded education. You got to be, you can't just wiggle a dolly successfully. Um, yeah. what we do, it's 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 an acting job. It's uh, it's it is nothing yep. uh, nothing less than. You know, than a, an incredibly difficult acting job where you have to translate everything you know as a human being and as, a, as an actor. You got to translate it mm-hmm. into whatever object is on your arm or yeah. your hands. Uh, right. So, uh, exactly. yeah. so you've got to have all kinds of you know, emo- and- emotional availability yeah. and acting chops. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's. Uh, you know, otherwise you just kind of get yeah. lost in the, the novelty. Uh, the novelty of puppetry is is very novel, and some people yeah. will watch yeah. you wiggle a dolly all day long because it's cute and because you know they, it's got the semblance of life, and you can bring enough technique. Yeah. But uh, you know, you got to ask yourself, why are you doing this? Why are you yeah. spending the time on this technique just to amuse people? Or do you really want to change the world? You want to change yeah. the way people think. Mm-hmm. You, want to, you want to make a difference. Uh, um, that's yeah. That's what you. That's what puppetry is really about. Uh, it's a very uh, on the surface fun, uh, fun and funny way of slipping into uh, the audience's, you know, deep uh, deep psyches. And, right. and once, yes. once you're there, what are you going to do? Yeah, you're going right. to, with great power, kind of comes great responsibility, that old one. And yeah. the responsibility of the puppeteer mm-hmm. is, to, is to do something that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Something that's going to make a difference. Do something exactly. that's, uh, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's important and socially responsible to a certain mm-hmm. extent. Yeah. That's amazing, and I know Matt over here is actually building a new one, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's building. He's building, a, he's building a new puppet. It's kind of a hand puppet. Puppeteers, we love. We love building puppets. And yeah, he, it's his first puppet he's ever built. Yep. Year, years ago, I built a I built a beautiful puppet. It was a crystal spider with with, with LEDs in it, and it was all made out of. Oh wow! Oh, wow. And, wow! And and nice. it was uh, and it was a stunning puppet. And I was going to put it in the show, and my my wife, uh, she was we were, wasn't my wife at the time. Asked me, well, how does it, how does this further the plot? What's what's the purpose of this? My answer was, I spent five weeks building it. That's the purpose. It's beautiful. Wow. It is yeah. the most stunning thing I've ever built. And and her response was, well, you know, how does it really? How does it further the plot? What's what's the use of this? And I didn't have an answer because there wasn't one. And yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ended up hanging it over the door. Uh, where it is to this day, because it was uh, there was no use for it except that I broke. Right. I, right. Know, I have to yeah. think of what is the use of these characters? I mean, yeah. right. This little this little Snuffleupagus guy you got on your hand there. Uh, <laughs> you know, how are you going to use that to effect? You know, to uh, to really communicate what's inside you. To uh, to the people that are watching. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's so it. that's the question. Yeah. 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 So I know you've been on other podcasts before. Like coming back, would you come back to this podcast? Maybe have you back on with some other puppeteers from Sesame Street in the future? 
Sure. If I, if I, uh, my, 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 my deal with these is if there's no reason to say no, the answer is yes. All right. Yeah. So, awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. You and Tyler bunch on together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'd be that'd awesome. great. Um, yeah. For, for you, for you, puppeteering with Slimy, it's really awesome. Yeah. Because, you know, yeah slimy slimy yeah. Is, one, is one of one nostalgic characters that, you know, that you've done as well, too. Yeah. And Chris yeah. actually has you got a Slimy back there. I got them all back there. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, um, to the people who's watching it from audio, um, it'd, be, video. it'd be appreciated. Switch over to video. Yeah. For this, you know. But for that special occasion, I actually write, actually write banner of a of um, Griff and Clef and Telly and and Slimy and there they are. Look yeah. at all them. That's all right. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. what would you like to say to your fans? Mm-hmm. Uh, geez, uh, there's the, what there's fans out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, Matt's Matt, Matt's been one for a long time. Yeah, we all have, I think. Uh, um, I. Thanks for uh, thanks for being there. Thanks for uh, you know it's yeah. When 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 we're in the studio, studio production is a funny thing because you know you're you're there with your characters and you're there with the scripts and you're there with your coworkers. Yeah, and, and then there's the crew, yes. uh, and yep. and sometimes it gets very uh, you know it's it's just you know, it's just just the twenty people in the room. Yeah, uh, and these days less. Uh, there's we yeah. we we shoot in a, in a room where we're not supposed to have. Uh, you know, more than twelve people in the room in the studio three A, uh, for for COVID re- COVID reasons, right? Yeah. But so we, we you know we get used to playing to the crew and playing for ourselves and playing to our friends. It's really good to be reminded that there's you know there's people out there that there's you know that what the audience is because you know we don't get feedback. I mean that's what I love about about live theater. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. I did a exactly. live theatrical show in 2019. Uh, that yeah. oh god, it was just every show was just you know it was just frightening and heartrending. And there was because I, we had you know a live audience in there that was seeing you know what I wrote and directed for the first time mm-hmm. live. And and you know is this all going to work? And it was uh, and I saw immediately what their feedback was yeah we don't get that on uh, you know except you know when i you know talk to you know guys like you and you know and the rare times we get to uh, we get we get feedback it's uh it's it's really it would be really nice to get a lot more feedback good and yeah. bad just just any kind of feedback is uh is, yeah yeah uh, yeah that's awesome uh, what what about uh <laughs> What about a uh, Telly and Snuffy? Do you do you two have any words to say to your fans? Oh, do, uh, do Telly and Snuffy have any 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 words? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. Oh, and, 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 and what about Clef and, and Riff too? Uh, them too. <laughs> That's fine. Not both of them. Part of it. Dying to hear the voices, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, we, we, we got we got fans of Lakers went to watch this. Now, t- now, t- now, now Telly and Snuffy, you guys definitely. Yeah, you know, been been around for a while. What do, what do you guys have to say to your fans? Uh, well, it's a uh, 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 let's see. Uh, actually, I have I have an old telly upstairs, and I have slimy the worm upstairs. But I, I probably oh, wow. them down there. They're just uh, in hideous shape. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh no, Oscar! What are we gonna do? Yes. <laughs> I'm supposed to do something today. I'm supposed to read your letters, but I can't read this letter out loud. This is a bad letter. Oh, Oscar, what are we going to do? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so uh, You know, one of the, one of the you mentioned Slimy, one of the lovely things about Slimy, I mean, Telly was very, very verbose. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. So he's, you know, he's, he's kind of got his blinders on. He, and you know, and, and you know, he, there's things that just don't occur to him, uh, like uh, for instance, the, the fact that Oscar is is grouchy. Oh, Oscar, you are so funny. I, I love it when you do that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just, just, you know, has, has certain blinders. You know, he's slightly tunnel vision. You know, Telly sees way too much of the world and takes it all into the, into into account. And then you got mm. characters like uh, like Slimy the Worm. Who's you know mm-hmm. two little wires? Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. within yeah. that tiny little little tube of foam and two wires and and you know one little tiny little little mouth string that you know that I work by you know with this finger down like this just you know just like that it's you, you get us you know he has a great eloquence to him and, uh, and yeah. he speaks volume in his relative silence uh, you know, there there are times when he you know we did when he does come up with words but it's it's relatively seldom yeah uh, yeah mm -hmm. but but still you can you can you can get what's going on with them uh yeah. there, there's there's a there's a wonderful definition of a puppet which is a, a puppet is an empty vessel and half yeah. the soul is provided by the puppeteer and the other half is provided by the audience so mm -hmm. you know, if i do yep. my job as a puppeteer and 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 my technique is strong enough so that you buy into it, you know, then you bring all of your wonderful nature into the reality of that character. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's yeah. really one of the, one of the great tricks that we do. And, you know, and, with, and it works like mad with, uh, with slimy because, mm -hmm. uh, because he does uh, come off as such a complete little guy. Yeah. yeah. Hardly he does. Knows. It's, it's, it's lovely doing the, the smallest character on Sesame Street. Well, arguably are the smallest on the Muppets and then uh, the largest. Uh, it's, it's delightful. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, that breadth of, uh, of, uh, of experience with, uh, with yeah. those. Yeah. yeah. So, yep. so, so if people want to, so if people want to find you or contact you, where, where can, where can people do so? Uh, contact me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like social media and stuff. Uh, say again, the like social your social media. media. I don't do any social media. All right, so where can people contact you? Whatsoever. I've got a, I've got a website. Yeah, uh, Martin P. Robinson Productions. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, or no, Martin P. P. Robinson uh, dot com. Yeah, um, put it in the, uh, the description. Uh, there's a contact yep, right. me on that, but I tell you, I haven't checked that contact me in three years. Uh, no it's, wonder it's not something I, uh, uh, you know, I got a, I got a wife and five kids and I'm working a lot mm -hmm. and I got a lot of pets, uh, mm -hmm. one upstairs dying wow. this very moment. Oh. Uh, I got a new puppy oh. that's going to puppy school starting next Monday. Um, oh, nice. uh, got nice. a lot of, a lot oh, of, wow. yeah, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of hard thing to do. I just don't do social media. Um, I understand. Whatsoever. Uh, mm -hmm. But I mean, you guys found me. How did you find me? Website. <laughs> website. What, what website? Your website. I think, I think, yeah, I think, website. was it like Gmail? Your manager, like, like an agent manager, or something right. that got back to me. Yeah. That's right. I that's think, right. I think that's how you went happened. through, uh, through my, my agent. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And she contacted me and said, uh, is this something you want to pursue? And I, uh, and I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, very, happy. Awesome. yeah. very awesome. Very you happy. You did. Do it. Anyone can do mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, but I'm not going to put my email out there for the right. World. Yeah. yeah. Right. Phone number. Uh, makes sense. I, just, now. I wouldn't mm -hmm. want to disappoint that many people. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm on some, some fan site. I won't say which one, but uh, it's, it's, where I get, you know, I get, I get, I get letters for, you know, to sign stuff, to yeah. sign the, uh, you know, boxes for the, for the pop characters and, uh, and, you know, and, uh, snuffy photos and little shop of horrors photos and sometimes Ninja Turtle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yes. Uh, they, they nice. Went, went Leonardo's and face. Yeah. He's in yes, there's a lot of, a a lot of Leonardo fans out there. Yeah. I, I am definitely one of those too. Definitely. I remember that, you know, that remember the, cool. the the first film yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I grew up on the, my parents grew up on those and i love them mm. your parents grew up on them. <laughs> great, yeah. great. Uh, no, but, so yeah so uh so i i i answer my phone mail my, my fan mail um you know and i you know i, I do these these type of things yeah that, that, yeah. that seems personal to me yeah and, and, and it's about so, the kind of stuff i can handle uh, time wise yeah yes right. so, so I guess to really end this off, so since the podcast is called uh, Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, yep. well, when you think of the word nostalgia, like what, what, what does that mean to you? You know, you know, people, 
people think and it's, it's strange you know and you you, you gentlemen uh, totally included uh, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, yes. what i think of as just you know just my career uh, you know, I've been in the business. Well, I started as a professional puppeteer in '75. Yeah, uh, mm. and you know, and it's just been a, crazy. a career that I've you know followed the path, and you know, you, you get choices, and you follow this path instead of this one, and then mm. you know, you make those choices all along the way, and you know, and over over time, it has become nostalgia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You say you know, your parents used to watch Allegra's Window. Yeah, yeah. You yes. know, and it and it's it is strange, you know, having been on Sesame now, you know, forty one years. Uh, I yeah. guess mm -hmm. we're getting into the nostalgia range, but you know, but I'm still just having fun doing my career, uh, you know, following the next path you know, into the yes. next uh, mm -hmm. next deal. exactly exactly uh, exactly. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, my my. Uh, and my story is just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, my, my best work is yet to come. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I definitely speak, we definitely, I definitely speak for all the best coming on. It's been a blast. All right. Here, are you looking inside this cup? Yeah. Inside yeah. this cup is an actual snuffle up oh, wow. And I would like to say goodbye to all the people out there at Jake's. Happy nostalgia, nostalgia happiness show. <laughs> Thank you so so much. That's awesome. And and I'll see you around. I'm always gonna be here. Uh, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye and for, everybody. And from all of us it. to all of you, you are worth it. Stay You're nostalgic, and we'll see you all next yep. time. Bye everyone. Yeah, thank, you so much. Bye. thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much for forty episodes. We will keep up the next forty episodes. Forty episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Forty. You're the fortieth okay. guest. Yeah. Yep. Oh, 40 episodes. Oh, I thought you meant 40. No, it's mm -hmm. 41 years on Sesame. Yep. Yeah. Mama Boss talking to you. Too. Uh, yep. Oh, Mama Boss talking to you. Yeah. Bye See you next time. Bye bye. bye. Come on. Hey, gentlemen. Oh, there's a little blue yeah. guy. Hey, there's a little green guy. There's mm -hmm. puppets all over the place yeah, here. Yeah. 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 Puppets, yeah. puppets, and more puppets. Yeah, yeah, so, oh, this, I, is, this, is my, this is my monster friend. They beam. Goodbye, everybody. And they're recording. Hey, puppet Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Mortimer's over there. Oh, there's a good dog. Oh, oh, oh guys, guys, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Well, wait, wait, wait for this dog, too. See ya, bye. 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 This, bye. This is an actual puppet. <laughs> <laughs> bye, everyone. See you next time on another episode of Jake's Happiness Talk Show. Be sure to follow us on social media and stream us wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Bye bye.